Well, here's one of our juvenile Cooper hawks laying down. He's a brancher now. Mom was over on the limb. Looks like she'd taken a bath. He just kind of was walking along here, and then he just laid down, got comfortable right on the in the pine boughs here, and made his own little nest right on the limb. Oh yeah. Well, we're kind of excited about it because we heard him calling. I wanted to get a moving moving today, and it looks like I did. He's got a little bit of fuzz right above his sear there. His nose, a little white stuff. Downy feathers, he'll soon be rid of that. Well, he's looking really good. He was walking along there and he just decided, well, I'll just lay down. I'm going to preen up a little bit. I'll back off a little. There we go. Let's see what he does here. Oh, yeah, our sunlight's coming in pretty good now. And that was a biker that just went by shifting gears and made the bird flinch a little bit but oh yeah now he's going to preen up the sun's come out he thought well I'll just get scored away here we're all excited about it you get a view of his eye got the highlight in his eye a little fuzz on his head he's preening up we're lucky he may uh, stand up and give us a little bit of a show here for now, he just wants to take it easy, I guess. We learned many things about their habits. This is the brancher stage. They ventured out of the nest up in the tree and they lay on the limb and they fly a little bit and hop around, but they're still in the nest tree. It'll be long now and then they'll be flying to different trees and then come back for breakfast and other meals for a few days. But this is what it's all about being a brancher and getting their muscles all toned up learn how to hide in the tree and keep an eye out for mom and dad to bring in the food i did hear the mail call earlier so there may be food in the area he has a little call a little bick noise he makes and then the female usually goes over and takes it and get, prepares the food these guys are branchers now. They also have an old blue heron nest. They drop the food off in there as a feeding table. But these guys don't fly over there yet, so they're still being fed in the nest in the nest tree. And after they fly around here a little bit in about a week, and then she'll start feeding them in the old blue heron's nest. It's like a bigger uh, feeding table. Works out really good for them. Oh yeah, look at this guy looking around. He's enjoying it. We'll call that good.